Hi guys and welcome. So I have something going on later today so I'm recording this ahead of time and I'm going to do this as a premiere that way when I'm at my appointment later I can kind of look at the comments and comment if you have any questions but um, let's get on with our next color me crazy and I'm not going to go on my face today only because I scratched my eyeball putting in my contacts so my eye looks pretty it it's much better now but it still looks red and I wear my glasses and I'm self-conscious when I wear my glasses and there's a glare from the lights and all that good stuff okay so let's go ahead and talk about these two colors pool um, sorry poppy parade and parakeet party so let's go ahead and we will put those colors on to show that we've done them. And today is the, oh, let me find worse than my pen. Oh my gosh, now my husband's going to be noisy in the other room. Never fails. All right, here's a pen. So today is 1218. And there goes my dog. Oh, not 1218, 1118. Uh, get my white out never fails see if I was going live I would only have to deal with the lawnmowers but since I'm doing it this way I have to deal with them getting back from their walk okay let me put that back up there all right so we're going to go ahead and use these colors all right so kind of your brighter version of Christmas colors so poppy parade usually real red is your standard red for Christmas um, poppy parade is a brighter red and I want to show you something on the color chart so here's poppy parade on the color chart right and look how it says it's friends with lemon lime twist but not with Parakeet Party. Now we've already used Lemon Line Twist on a video, so that's why I went to Parakeet Party. Now, you notice on the Parakeet Party, it doesn't show any reds. That's just so wrong. Okay, anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead, we have in our usual colors, here's your, your four by 12s, here's your bases, Here's your layers, and here's the white and vanilla. And again, I'm going to start off with the technique on this one, I think. Only because. And it's weird. I have yarn all over the place. Now, a lot of it is up on my shelf in my old Girl Scout tote that I have in here. But I know that I've run across... Uh, yarn recently and couldn't find it before the video so we're going to use Stampin' Up! products we're going to use uh, Baker's Twine and this is the metallic in color ribbon and we're going to show you what we're going to do first thing I like to do for this is get out my matching daubers and that's the A through that's the wrong one so let's go ahead I'm going to get out my Poppy per oh, Parakeet Party is right there and let's see poppy parade is right there all right let's get out those let me put these back yes it's by the microphone so i'm sorry if that's loud oh my goodness all right so this is what i'm going to do and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a piece a folded cardstock but then we're going to cut it down to a layer and a lot of you might have done this it is a fun technique and it might work better with yarn just because yarn kind of soaks it up more but again couldn't find any so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my baker's twine I'm going to hold it down with my finger dauber and I'm going to run this through the stamp pad so I get color on it all right put that there I'm going to lay this down in here I'm going to kind of swirl it a little bit even edge out and then we're going to pull and 
And what that does is make a background beginning. Now, you want to make sure that you're hanging on to the non and the non inked end. And then you can pull it through wherever you want for other effects. All right. I kind of want something there. So I'm going to hang on here. There. So I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my parakeet party. Do the same. Remember to do this on this metallic ribbon, which I think gives you a very faint amount of ink. Now see, it looks like it's soaking it up really good, but I really, unless I used earlier, for my examples, a pad that wasn't very juicy. So again, I'm going to kind of lay it down in a circle, overlapping, and pull it through. Yeah, that's a beautiful sound, isn't it? All right. I think... All right, I think that's going to be enough for the ink. It looks like one of those ink blots that, what are those called? You know, where they have you lay down on the sofa and you look at an ink blot or a couch and they have you look at an ink blot and they ask you, what do you see here? All right, so I am going to cut this down to a layer for now. So I'm going to go the four. Then we go five and a fourth. So what I think I'm going to do is, I kind of like how that is there. So I'm going to go five and a fourth here. Yeah, I'm fine with losing that part of it over there. All right. And then we'll do the same here. We'll go four. Now, yes, you can hang on to this because this will work in one of your and maybe we'll use it later on the other card to show you for the, um, what's it called? Book open card. I can't think of what it's called right now. You'll know once I show you. And I'm going to cut off this end because there's not a lot of color on that one. So now we have two that are four by five and a fourth. Let me put that away for now. Let's grab out that vanilla face now. No, I think I want to do, I think I want to do the red base. That is a great background. So I think I'm going to lay it down just the way it is. And we'll put just a greeting on it. I think there's glue on there. I can't really tell because of my glasses. Also, my glasses are transitions. So when I get light in this room, they get dark. So it's kind of weird. All right, so there's that one. Let's go ahead and let's cut. Let's go an inch and a half by four. And they may cut it down even more. Let's do an inch and a half by four there. So then on our, because I'm not going to mix this time. Let's do an inch and a fourth by three and three fourths. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to go over and grab one of my Christmas sets. And hopefully I have a good saying that will go in there. Let's see, where's my Christmas classics? Here we go. Here's Christmas classics. Oops, let me put my glue out of the way. Let's grab that season's greetings. I think that's going to fit okay. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. That was so close to the microphone. All right, so here's Season's Greeting. Let me get the block. And I'm going to do this. Let me put those over there. Let me get these out of the way, too. Get. Now, I should have my piercing mat underneath here, but since I'm going on this silicone mat, I think I should be okay. We'll see. Yeah, let me grab out. Where's my mat? I just had it here. Here it goes. Let's do that on the other side just to see. And maybe my stamp pad. You never know. Yeah, it's probably just my stamp pad. I think I like that one better. So let's go ahead. We'll glue that one down. Oh, you know, before we glue it down, I think we'll be okay. It hasn't touched paper yet. Let me get a little bit of an edge on there without trying to get too much. Not good to do. Hopefully they didn't go on my white carpet. That would not be fun. Let's just go ahead and get a little bit of edging on that. Might have to put some more glue down because it might have dried by now. to be okay. All right, let me grab a few dimensionals. Oops, that one didn't want to come up. All right, so let's go ahead, go here, here, here. Across there. Of course, if you can find some bling, add a little bling. You could also stamp like some ornaments on there. But we'll go ahead and leave that one for now. Okay, next one. Now this one I've been thinking about, and I'm not sure how it would work. See. So what we're going to do is, remember this little piece we just did? We're going to cut it down and we're going to put it in here. So let's go ahead and cut it down. But we want to punch out from here. I'm trying to think which punch I want. Maybe I want, let me go over here. won't go in far enough. I feel like I need to get a big punch so it goes into the card always. All right. We'll go ahead. We'll use the decorative circle. All right. So we're going to come down here. We're going to punch through the front. I want to make sure. Kind of in the middle. So we're in the front there. Let me throw that punch over there. We're going to cut this down because we know it's just a little bit longer than the card. We're going to glue this on one side. You could use your tear and tape here. And usually I do use the tear and tape, but just because I have the glue out, I'm going to use this. All right. So what we're going to do is We're 
we're going to lay this right on the edge and hold down for a second. All right. Then we're going to glue this. I haven't done this on a card since probably, it's been probably at least 10 years. It's one of those things that I did for a while and then, you know, you kind of, kind of forget about it. I'm gonna hold on to that. Hopefully I have it pretty much straight. we're going to put our layer on the inside to cover up that that piece so you have a full you have a card within a card within a card and of course you're gonna see that on that side but not that big of a deal all right so let me go ahead with this card because we really don't want to see anything underneath it. You are going to see just a little bit because you have that fold, of course. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of glue here so when it opens up and you could put a second you know card base here if you don't want to see that you know or you could have made this uh, eight by five and a fourth score at four and a fourth and laid it in as another opening card I just think that gets to be a lot of layers. I'm not too concerned about the way that looks. And if you are, tape it down. You know? All right. So let's go ahead. Let's grab our piece of earth. And if you wanted to, I do have these from others. You can go as big or small as you want. Like I said, you could even slip a piece of designer series paper. Let me see if I have a little sheet, for example. You can either put a piece of designer series paper on that so when it opens, you see both sides. I mean, yes, it's just another reason not to throw anything away. All right, let's go over here. There's a lot of layers. I think I'm gonna open this up to stamp. This is the dauber. I'm just going to do really lightly. You barely want to touch. I just want to break up that background just a little bit. And of course, you can always add your bling on these two. All right. And probably in the future, I probably would maybe put that on the inside, cover the flap that way, and have it bookend. But, you know, when you're live, not much you can do. All right, guys. 
Let me get some of this out of the way. Let's show you these two color combinations we did today. A little messy desk here. <laughs> so there we are. Poppy Parade and Parakeet Party. Tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share my video with your friends or on your social media posts. But most of all, have a great Saturday. Now, I won't be on next weekend. Um, I will be in Iowa with family for an extended Thanksgiving Day weekend. So I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Um, take care, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks a lot. Bye for now. Lost my mouse.